Craig, you're a horticultural scientist with a degree to back that. Yes. Craig, you've come across a, a, an emulsion and you decided to put it to the test with some uh, pukes behind you there. And I've been using um, another uh, liquid-based fertiliser, leading brand on, on this one, and you can see the difference is, is quite significant. Uh, certainly the unknown growth factor is performing a lot better uh, in terms of the growth, a foot difference in terms of the, in terms of the height, uh, the amount of fruit on the plant, the colour, the amount of tendrils, uh, the amount of flowers. I was a little bit surprised, it's, it's chalk and cheese. It's a very interesting product. Hello, it's Brett Bramble here. I'm from the Natural Growth Institute. I'm here with a very famous Craig Perring. You're a horticultural scientist with a degree to back that. Yes. And over your time in the last 20 years, you've been on how many different farms and done consulting and so forth, you reckon? Uh, look, it, it's hard to put a number on it, but I'd say probably over a thousand farms in the last 20 years and, and nurseries. Um, I've started out as a landscaper, so I've, I've been around the traps for a while. Um, prior to doing my um, degree at university, I was a landscaper for, for four or five years before um, getting into the more sciencey side of things through, through doing the Bachelor of Horticultural Science out at Hawkesbury Ag College. Sure, so, sure. And you've dealt with um, fruit growers, veggie growers, ornamentals. Uh, bit, probably a bit of broadacre. I've worked with um, yeah most crops, you know, uh, nuts, turf, nursery, avocados, macadamias, chestnuts, mangoes, berries, stone fruit, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Craig, you've come across a, a, an emulsion. Where is it? The uh, recently, it's, a, it's an advanced fish and kelp emulsion. It's a cool processed fish. Uh, very concentrated, uh, loaded with a special kelp and a lot of other uh, sort of uh, secret herbs and spices if you like. Craig, you were a little bit sort of sceptical about it when you first come across it like other people were and you decided to put it to the test with some uh, pukes behind you there. So yep. they're like a little miniature cucumber and you wanted to convince yourself. And I've certainly seen lots of products come and go and my, uh, my passion is gardening so I have a very organised garden I like to think you know, as horticulturists and working with growers over the years they see so many new products, you know, the next best fertiliser, the next best steak, next best, you know, plant tyre, whatever it may be. Um, this is Paddington. Um, <laughs> and, you know, so always happy to try new things. As you can see from the plants next to me, um, this is only a very small experiment and I've been using um, another uh, liquid-based fertiliser, leading brand on, on this one. Um, they've had two applications uh, fortnightly and you can see the difference is, is quite significant. Um, and this, this would probably be the market leader as far as a premium grade seaweed solution and everyone knows about it, everyone uses it. I'm trialling these baby cukes and basically what I'm doing is just um, trying trialling the uh, unknown growth factor versus as I said before one of the leading um, seaweed brands. I'm fertilising them equally on a fortnightly basis. They're both working, of course, but uh, certainly the unknown growth factor is performing a lot better uh, in terms of the growth of the plant, uh, the amount of fruit on the plant, the colour, uh, the amount of tendrils, uh, the amount of flowers um, is you know significantly different. I was a little bit surprised as to, to the, the, the difference because the other product uh, I've been using is also very good. So you know I was very surprised. It certainly outgrew and outperformed. The other bright brand. So this is the um, this is the fruit on the on the the uh, the non unknown growth factor. Uh, there's plenty of fruit on there, which is great. Uh, and how many pieces of fruit did you count on the uh, seaweed one? There was about 14 on this one. Yeah. And that's including you know all your little flowers such as that. So that's including everything. Um, yeah, you know, right down to yeah your, your sort of um, half, half ready ones if you yep. like. Yeah. So there's about 14 of those. Can you comment <coughs> oh, on, the, on the colour, Craig, so the colour of the leaf? Oh, look, the colour's um, yeah, a stark difference. Um, significant difference in the, um, in the colour. Uh, the one on the left is, is uh, a lot paler um, compared to, to the unknown growth factor. Yeah, this is the unknown growth factor. Um, you can see the difference in the colour, as I said before. Uh, the fruit is, is well and truly formed. Um, yes. That's the most mature fruit on this particular tree. Or vine, should I say, um, in comparison, um, I counted about 21 different bits of fruit. You know, again, including the the smaller stuff. So you know, that's five or, uh, five or six extras on this one. Um, Tendril-wise, you know, a lot more tendrils uh, climbing through there. Oh, yeah, there they go. So they're um, yeah, they've got the top here too. 
And from a couple of weeks ago, Craig, you were saying that this uh, the, the fish one had the tendrils form where the one with the, the seaweed only didn't have any tendrils at that particular time, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So it would have been um, about two weeks ago. Uh, this one had about three or four tendrils start to come through and the other one didn't have any at that particular stage. So obviously in terms of plant growth, that's obviously good because the tendrils help it climb up the trellis um, and obviously allow more light in there to allow it to fruit and whatnot. Um, and yeah, look, I've, I've, as I said before, I've been very happy with the results. Um, I have seen other trials of it as well uh, in both the turf industries and the um, rose industry, the dahlia industries, and you know the results have been similar in terms of the, uh, the growth. So just in summary, Craig, would, would you estimate the one on the right would be some 50% more growth than the seabeet on the left? <clears throat> yes, I would. Uh, in terms of fruit formation, um, you know, maturity, it's going to be a little bit earlier. There's probably a week difference in terms of harvest time um, from my experience um, and obviously a lot more fruit on this one at this stage. Um, these plants have been in the ground about five weeks, I think, from memory. It's chalk and cheese in terms of the, the growth and, and the amount of fruit and flowers on them as well. So yeah, it's a very interesting product. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Holy mackerel dare.